Hello, I'm Hayley and welcome to my channel. Um, this is my Hamilton vlog from months ago. Apologies for any weird sounds in the background. My neighbour decided to start leaf blowing right as I started to record this. Um, this was my first trip to Sydney essentially by myself, like without family. Um, and my first time flying as well and seeing Hamilton, so please enjoy. Oh, they are toasty. Oh, <laughs> a little too toasty. So this was my first time flying, so I was trying to read my book to distract myself, but I spent like the whole trip just looking out the window instead. A friend of mine wanted to me record my reaction, but I was wearing a mask, so like it's not really that entertaining. Um, as you can see from some of the clips, the outside was really pretty, um, and we love seeing posters like scattered around Sydney on our way to the hotel. It was just really cool. <laughs> um, I'm a bit bummed out that I didn't really get to see more of Sydney while I was there. I really wanted to like look around and stuff, but it was a bit hard to do with such a short time there. So we spent one night and we ended up flying home the next day. So yeah, this is a little vlog about that. <laughs> So we made it to the hotel, uh, we just rode in a fucking Tesla, it was cool, and fun fun times. Uh, the plane ride was alright, uh, my ears popped real bad, uh, but other than that I was Gucci. Um, this is my current fit, don't fuck with it too hard, like it's alright. And then I'm gonna change my top for Hamilton later on tonight, so woo. Sorry I didn't take you with me, <laughs> I just went bowling and I lost. And right now we're all back in our hotel rooms getting ready for Hamilton. Uh, fun fact, I was just wearing my contacts like this whole trip. Turns out I had a rip in my left eye, so no wonder it was like, not working. And um, it full on tore in half. So now the glasses are the option and I have to wait for my contacts to come in. So fun. Um, and now I'm gonna go have a shower and spruce up my makeup and I'm going to go to the show. Did a quick fix, quick eyeshadow look, and time to get dressed. We've got. Yes, I've already made a mess of the bed. Maroon colored shirt. We've got skirt, boots, this top. Some vampire vibes right here. I don't know how to show you in like a better angle because like nothing is a better angle, you know? <laughs> So we went and saw the show. I got some fun little pictures of us like playing around and stuff. Um, on the walk home, we went through this beautiful bridge of um, flags. Um, it was like, you can see this bridge from the view of the window, but I tried to film like a clip, but it just kind of came out weird. It, I couldn't fix it. But um, this like part was really like ethereal. It was just so beautiful. Um, it, I felt really like peaceful. wasn't filming this whole time. <laughs> I just talked about my feelings and stuff <laughs> and I wasn't filming so I'm probably gonna insert a clip or whatever of me expressing my feelings later on. But um, just to fill you in the rundown, I just got back from the hotel, I mean back to the hotel, we went for a walk around a bit and stuff and it's, I'm really fucking tired now. It's like, yeah it's 12 o'clock, it's midnight so I've got to get up tomorrow to obviously fly home so I'm going to bed. Good night. So it did in fact rain on me um, that night when we were walking around. Um, I overall had a good time. It was nice just to walk around and stuff. I was getting a bit irritated though because we waited in line for ages to get KFC for dinner. 
Um, by dinner, I mean, like, it was, like, 11.30. <laughs> I was starving. So that was kind of a downer. But overall, I think the experience was really fun. Um, because of being, it, like, it being such a long time since I went and saw the show, I do wish I had some type of footage of me talking about what I, like, enjoyed about the show. But I genuinely just forgot to talk about it. Um, I did, like, start talking, but then the camera wasn't filming. So I just gave up and went to bed which fair enough it was way too late for me to be like piss farting around any more so um here's a lovely uh time lapse of the view while i talk about my feelings um if i can recall i really enjoyed uh alexander's actor um i think he brought a very interesting and new take to what we know as Hamilton and I just think it was spot on like I really enjoyed it oh Jesus my neighbor's deciding to mow his lawn right as I'm filming this I'm so sorry for any weird echo or weird sounds um this is now we're cutting to the footage of me flying home and this was so much more shaky than it was taking off the on the way there um I also filmed on my camera for the way back whereas I had to film my phone for the way there because I was in the emergency exit section so um I had to like put all of my stuff up in the upper head ca carrier and I couldn't have my thing out um I spent this whole trip back home listening to the entirety of the Hamilton musical <laughs> um I did end up reading a little bit more um but I just literally just spent the entire time listening to Hamilton and like looking out the window so I learned to stop trying to be productive. These clouds were just so like fluffy and beautiful and I just really enjoyed the whole experience of going and being there. And in all honesty, now that I'm like stuck at home again and my can my Queensland trip has ended up being cancelled, I'm just like really thankful that I was able to do this when I did. Um, I am sad that I can't do it anytime soon, but yeah, thank you for just you know, watching. On the other hand, I didn't really feel that same way about Burr. I think because Burr's like my favorite character and I really like put him on a pedestal, I kind of like was a little bit disappointed, at least for the performance of Wait For It. Like that's my favorite song. So I was really expecting something good, <laughs> like really, really good. And it was, it was good, but it wasn't um, kind of what I was expecting, which is my own fault for putting such high expectations on that performance. I think second act, Burr really, like, hit it. I think this particular actor is really good at playing more villainous characters or a little bit more morally grey characters. So when Burr starts to get a little bit more angry, um, it's so much... Like, you can really tell that he is good at those type of roles. Um... So, yeah, i pretty sure I, like, looked into the guy who played him, and he'd previously played Jafar in an Aladdin um, musical, so I definitely could see Jafar vibes, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, overall, I think the whole cast was really interesting, and they brought, like, a whole new version of the show to life, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I could really criticize anyone overly too harshly because it, if I, you know, coming into it to compare the two um, was not, is not like really a smart idea because this is a whole different type of performance in the first place. So, you, you, do you understand what I mean? Like, you, you get what I'm putting down? I didn't really want to compare too much. Um, I really liked the lady who played Angelica. I think that was really interesting. I'm going to write all of like the cast members that I am talking about in the description because um, I don't remember their names off the top of my head. We ended up spending time just kind of like chilling and um, yeah, just spent some time chilling in Melbourne and walking around and looking at some things and then we just ended up going home. So. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed at least a little bit. I hope this kind of fed your want to travel. <laughs> Maybe it probably just fed it and made you want to travel even more. But um, even just, you know, going to Melbourne was a huge deal because I hadn't been for like a year. 
But yeah, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you, I guess, next week. Bye-bye.